Does Islam really hate the West? The famous Islamophobe Bridget Gabriel wrote, President Trump is right, Islam hates the West. I found that it's necessary to respond to such tweet, and I posted a few links about how Islam is transforming America for the best by C.J. Werleman. In addition to the famous lecture by Dr. Roy Casagranda, How Islam Saved the West. I also posted this meme, the West invading Muslim countries, uh, stealing the resources, bombing and killing civilians, and then asking why do they hate us. But let's answer the question directly. Does Islam really hate the West as a whole? Now, this was the core of my response, the, my ma main response. Islam hates injustice. Islam hates tyranny. Islam hates stealing resources from third world countries. Islam hates killing civilians of any faith. Islam hates occupying lands and killing indigenous people. It's not the West. It's rather the West's deeds. And I posted this uh, short video link about Samuel Huntington's quote about Islam when uh, the West, sorry, won the world by violence, not by ideas, from his uh, famous book, The Clash of Civilizations. Uh, he admitted, he as a Westerner, as a Western academic, he has admitted that the West has won the world by violence, by occupying lands, by stealing resources, by using bombs and sending armies to third world countries and uh, instigating conflicts among uh, nations and winning and taking over resources and so on and so forth. So it's a, a witness from his own people, against his own people. So to cut a long story short, Islam does not hate the West per se. We don't hate the West for being the West. We hate anything that is negative that some good and righteous Western people would hate themselves. I think all the, all the things that I have just mentioned that Islam hates, I mean, it's common sense to hate such things and to disagree on it. And there are so many Westerners who are against uh, such, uh, in, I mean, such practices against injustice, ter tyranny, and stealing resources and killing civilians and so on and so forth. So they would agree with us. Islam carries a message of mercy to mankind. It's not a religion that uh, spreads hate and calls to, you know, hate the other. It's a message that carries mercy to the other. Last but not least, I would like to conclude with this verse from the Quran. A'udhu Billah Mishtan Rajim. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ Translation of meanings, and we have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a mercy to the world. This is from Surah Al-Anbiya. Surah number 21, verse number 107. This is the true message of Islam, a mercy to mankind. Thank you for listening and watching. Assalamu alaikum.